Alright, so what's going on my dudes? Uh, if you're in the spicy group, you may have noticed we've been doing some lance racing lately, and you're probably wondering, uh, what's up with that? First off, you know, obviously you're going to want to roll with the lance so you can race. And start off, you shield, and then you press triangle and circle at the same time. And you let go of all three, and then you start charging. Good times, you know. Easy stuff, so that's how it's done now that we got that out of the way. What you're going to want to do is when you eat, you got a gourmet loaded up here. So you're going to want to go to custom voucher. Uh, you know, maybe pick the fish or the veggies. But either way, you're going to want to go to the third row. Eat four from the third row. And that'll give you black belt. And black belt, as you can see here. Or just a stamina depletion when baiting blocking or doing certain other action. Good thing to have. And then, you know, I just go a secondary skill. Acrobat so I don't get knocked on my ass. Uh, if you get Sprinter as a daily skill and that shows up, you're going to want to try to get that. You can forgo the Acrobat for that. Anyway, so just go ahead and eat. Anyways. Let's go down here to the racetrack. So we've made two major changes to the rule set. One, no Brace Jewel. Brace Jewel kind of, you know, Having that in makes it less fun. It's nice to get fucked up by other people, you know. It's nice to fuck with each other. And another rule is uh, kill Jiros in the beginning. We're over here in the Fluvial Opera quest, and you're gonna want to do the five monster high rank quest so the monsters will fuck with you but not kill you, you know. So it's easiest here in the opera uh, in the Vale doing the Fluvial Opera. We kill Juros first, and that's what uh, Mr. Zen is doing right now. He's going to go ahead and kill Juros, and then he's been close. But, uh, yeah, he's going to go ahead and kill Juros, so that way the B-52 bomber himself, Basil Boost, is funny. he shows up, and, you know, that's one more element in there messing. Dude, quick get paralyzed, man. Very bad. <laughs> So anyways, let me show you my build real quick. I've got eight <laughs> mini Juros. <laughs> All the little Juros. Anyways, I got a slot upgrade here. That pretty much just gives me a, a sheath tool. That's pretty much what that's for. Anyways, yeah, as you can see, your plugs don't get roared. Constitution and Marathon Runner. And it's nice, very nice. Constitution, Marathon Runner, Drop and Stamina down. Surge are going to be your main ones you want. All these other ones here are great to have. You know, Evade Extender, Quick Sheath, Stealth, Intimidator, Tremor Resist. I mean, if I wanted to try something else, I could probably fit that Tremor Resist in there, but it's not. I don't think it's too big of a deal. I don't think anything's really messing with us. At least I'm not on this race course anyways. Mind's Eye, Ballistic, Guard Up, Safe Landing, that's all just... You know, nice to have just in case. I don't know if it helps. It could. Probably not for high rank anyways. But, uh... Yeah, so... Starting off... We have... Everyone put their bombs on this line. Which is just below... This thing here. Right below the vines. You go over here. This little crack in the thing. Everyone sets their bombs up. And the signal for the race are the little barrel bombs, the explosions, so people can't run past. So once I do this, I'm going to just uh, fast forward this. I'm going to have the video in fast forwards to just show you the general race course of what we do in the Vale. And so yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. And here we go. Yep, and that can happen. You do gotta watch out for Rataban coming through here. The big bully in these yeah. races. That's one thing you gotta pay attention for before you start the race, because that has ruined the start of many races. Actually, it may be like half the time, even. I'm not exactly this country quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad that happened while I was recording. I was planning on fast forwarding through this, but, you know, I guess I'm still explaining shit. <laughs> Part. 
is a nice part. You can get a nice little boost on the competition right there. I got a good clip of Mr. Zen just absolutely smoking me on that section. I was I saw that. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, you got ahead. That's, that's a nice, nice little cheat <laughs> code nice when you're uh, behind. Yeah. So you can either go right or left right here. And either way, it's going to be a tight turn, but oh, you can make it. You're going to run out of stamina. Want to scroll over and get that dash juice. Yeah, dash juice is definitely handy. I can't believe I forgot to mention that. But yeah, bring along dash juice and bombs. That's all you really need for the most part. So that's one lap, and you can, as soon as you jump off, or uh, Rodimax jumping off right now, you can take it right or left. I think me taking the left is safer and a little quicker, but if you know your shit, I think you can scoop that right and take it a little faster. You can take an alternate route, you know, jump off there and cruise down to the bottom of the rod if they'll make a route out of that, but that's entirely up to you guys. We just mainly run that top part. We'll probably make courses out of the other other locales too, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I think that's the, the race course. Alright, let's get some more more cool racing clips. 